the biggest disappointment in college football this season so far is Houston, who had goals of being the group of five New Year's Sixes team, but appears heading for a 500 or best year. The Cougars brought back quarterback Clayton Toon and future NFL receiver Nathaniel Tank Dell, as well as a strong defensive line, but the team hasn't meshed at all, going to overtime in three of the four games and losing to Tulane with a third-string quarterback at home last week. Houston had lofty goals this season with a win total of nine heading into 2022, but the Cougars have fallen right on their faces and it was capped off by a dismal loss in overtime to Tulane last week. Is it time to buy the Cougars? I'm not sure I can get there with a team that looks this checked out already. It's pretty a narrative bet that type of way, but the numbers don't help the case either as the team is 81st in yards per play allowed and 93rd in defense success rate. On offense, the team isn't doing much better. 88th in YPP and converting only 52% of red zone drives into touchdowns. Memphis's defense could be a reprieve for the Houston offense. 99th in EPA play this season, but they are stout against the run. This could be a comeback and fourth affair if Toon and Dale get going on offense, but I can't back them as underdogs. Seth Hennigan has emerged to conduct what has been an elite Memphis passing attack, which is 28th in success rate through the air. The Houston secondary has been stout, but the team also has committed the most penalties in the country. Both teams are in the upper half of the country in terms of plays per minute, and with each team's suspect defense, you know I can't trust Houston, but what I would do trust is a look at the over as my favorite play in this one. Give me Houston, Memphis, over 57 and a half as the play here. What say you? Let me know. Comment section below.